Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today I thought I'd do a quick video on the Atlantic Star. So, the Atlantic Star was part of a set of World War II British campaign stars, and there were a total of nine of them. Uh, to be awarded the Atlantic Star, you'd have to meet a certain set of criteria, and for the Navy, you'd have to have at least 180 days of operational service in the Atlantic, or home waters, and for the Air Force, you'd need to have at least 60 days of operational flying over the Atlantic, or home waters. Both of these set of criteria would have to have been achieved from the 3rd of September 1939 all the way through to 8th of May 1945. There were obviously some minor exceptions as with uh, many things uh, for being awarded the Atlantic Star but I won't be going into detail about that in this video. Just to point out there were two clasps that you could have on your Atlantic Star if you uh, met a certain set of criteria to get them on. Uh, they were the France and Germany clasp uh, and the Aircrew Europe clasp. However, you could only have one on your actual Atlantic Star due to the regulations. So now I'm going to move on to the actual medal itself, talking about what you can see on the medal. So, as you can see on the front of the medal, uh, the King's Crown uh, with the King George VI initials right there. Uh, underneath that, you can see the Atlantic Star writing, uh, obviously symbolising that it is the Atlantic Star. Moving up. Here, you can see that the ribbon is made up of blue, white, and green. As you can see on the back of the star, it is plain, uh, blank, with no details, no make and mark, as you'd expect on a British medal from World War II. Unlike, you know, the German medals at the time, this does not have any sort of thing showing where it came from and who it was awarded to. However, certain British Commonwealth countries like South Africa decided to have their uh, recipient's details on the back. So if you have that, then you know that it's not a British person who received the award. This one here, uh, this Atlantic Star, was actually uh, my great granddad's Atlantic Star. And so uh, it was actually one of the first pieces of uh, World War II military that I actually got. And so yeah, it's a very nice thing and it, it means a lot in my collection. Um, obviously never be selling it. And so yeah, it's a really nice medal. and. If some of you are looking to buy some of these uh, British World War II campaign medals, I would recommend them. They're not too expensive. Uh, there are some that are more expensive than others. Uh, for example, the Aircrew Europe uh, star is quite an expensive one. And uh, also the Arctic star is quite a difficult one to, uh, to get, obviously. Um, I might do a video on that in the future. But also you do need to be careful. There are like so many fakes of this medal, you know, because it isn't very hard to fake. Um, just watch out for a lot of them fakes, uh, but yeah, I would definitely recommend getting one of these. Nice, nice medal, and I'm hoping to complete the set uh, in the next few years, hopefully. All right, everyone, thanks a lot for watching the video today. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot, uh, and also like the video so I know that you are enjoying the videos. Thanks a lot, and uh, see you in the next video.